Okay, let's try putting down, check this out. First one sharp, then the second sharp, then the third sharp, then the fourth sharp, then they put down a fifth sharp. Now, uh, the interesting thing about that is they go down a one, two, three, one, two, three, they go down to the A. Then they come back up, uh, they come back up uh, a, a fifth, right? So that would be here to the E. And then they go down again to here. Now there's more sharps than most people ever read in their life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sharps, which is one of those keys that everyone avoids. Nobody learns to read more than four sharps. Five sharps, six sharps, seven sharps, people avoid because you get those weird spellings that are too hard. And why think of it as D sharp when I can think of it as E flat? Yeah! <laughs> so that's a the the derogative thing for females, so let's just call them a bunch of dicks. <laughs> to even it up. Listen, let's lock and load this step. So the point is, what's that over there? If that is the number seven, if this line here is the number seven, then this line is, this line is, okay, the one below would be, then going up, two, four, one line above, six, and now, ta-da, I'm ready, I'm ready to start numbering it. Now here's the nice thing, once you number this, do I have to worry about these sharps? Not at all. All that the reason that the sharps are there for is to tell me that one, the dough, has moved to another line or space. And it's a method for pushing it to a line or a space. That's all it is. And to do it through mo rote memorization and to make people memorize 17 different positions, that's a bit much, takes a bit much. But if you realize that there's one formula that generates the whole darn thing, now it gets easy. And you can see using the number code is pretty simple. Okay? So what happens is we're using simple numbers where every line in every space, we're putting a number on it. If we look at every other number, we find a pattern that's generated, this pattern. And this pattern that's generated is every line or every space, anywhere, any place. All we need to do is figure out where any one of those numbers is at, on any line or any space, and once we find out where a number is at, we can generate the whole rest of the thing. Is that clear so far? Now, what we've done is a fairly heavy thing here, believe it or not. The thing is, now how do we make this comfortable enough that we can just do it with our eyeball? I'll show you in just a, in just a minute, okay? But now I want to show you the other, the other part to this, and that is, what, what number was the flat next to? Four. Well, it just so happens that when they put flats on the staff, the first flat they use is in the key of F, they use a B flat. And if you count from F up to B flat, it happens to be four notes away. So the B flat itself in the key of F actually represents the number four. Now they do the same thing with flats. Every time they add a new flat, the old flat gets pushed to a new number, and the new flat that comes in, which is always on the rightmost side of the staff, is always the number four. If they have three flats in there, then the, the two old flats have been moved to new numbers, and the new flat that's put in will always come in as the number four. And there's the key to reading any piece of music that has a flat key. And by the way, we're reading keys here that uh, I, could, uh, I could write something with 17 sharps. And it wouldn't matter to you, would it? You would just go to the last sharp, call that the number seven, and number it, and you're, you're ready to go, right? You don't care if it's 17 sharps, do you? So now you know something, you know, you're a smart ass. You know something that people who read by some concert pianist, you can write something out in double A sharp, which has 17 sharps. <laughs> Hand it to them, and they will fall off the piano bench. I, and they will look at you and they will say, what the heck is this? And you say, it's only got 17 sharps. What's wrong? It's double A sharp. Oh, uh, you mean it's in B? No. 
It's not in B, because on the staff, I'm going to start with the letter name A, and I'm going to put two sharps on it, and I'm going to call it double A sharps, so no, you can't call it B, because I'm writing it on the staff in a different location. And I have to go, in music, you always call something what it looks like, not what you want it to be. <laughs> and things have names. For instance, my name is Mr. Natural, but nobody calls me that. They call me Natch. That's my alias. My nickname is Natch, right? So if I were out on the street and somebody yelled, Hey, Natch! I would turn around and respond in a split second. If you said natural, I would too. <laughs> I've learned to respond instantaneous to both those callings, right? So just because I call something E flat or I call it D sharp doesn't mean it ain't the same, it's the same position. <clears throat> But I have to call it what it looks like on the staff. So if it looks like it's on the D line and it's got a sharp on it, I call it a D sharp. But if it's on the same line where E is at and there's a flat in front of it, then I'm going to call it E flat. And those would be two different positions on the staff, even though they're pointing at the same black key on the piano. Even though I'm pointing at the same position physically, and it's the same note that I'm hearing sound-wise, it has two different names. And those two different names would look different on the staff. So here we have our four staffs. And I'm just going to come here and put this little flat right here on that thing. Now, if that is the number four, then what's the line above it? Six. That's correct. And above that? One. one. And if we move down, what's this line? If that's four, this two. is two. And this line seven. becomes yeah. seven, right? And the one below it would be a five. So right there, I've labeled that enough. By the way, this is the, the, um, the treble clef would be the key of F. And you'll see the number one here points at what they would call the F line. And here also is the number one, which is where the letter F would be, this word of treble clef. So there, but there's the numbering for it. Okay? Now if I have two flats, I put one flat here, and the next flat always comes in right here on this space. So if this space here now is the number four, then above is six, and below two, then what? Seven, seven. five, three, and below it, one. And there we are. Now whatever that key is called, doesn't matter what we call it, we now have one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, there's our numbers, and now I can write music or read music based on this, and again, that last flat is the number four. Okay, let's have four flats. So they put the first flat here, they put the second flat there, and they always come in and put the third flat down here on A, right? Mm -hmm. On this space. So if that's the number four, then what's above? Six. And above that? One. And above that? Three. And below four? Two. And below Seven. that? Seven. So now I've just numbered that enough that I can read music. Correct? Okay, one more. First flat, then they put in another flat over here. Then they always put another flat in here. Then they always put another flat here. Then they put another flat down here. <laughs> then they put another flat here. I'm just going to stop there for fun. And I'm going to say this last flat here, which is that space, is what number? Four. four. Okay, so if that is the number four, then above it would be six. 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 And above seven. that, one. Oh, and going down, two, two, two seven, seven five. five. And now that's enough to, and again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six flats, which is where people don't like to go. And it doesn't matter what we call them. After we have numbered this, we can ignore all of those things and just play a scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I had a harmonica or a piano, I could just go up and down and scale. Target acquired. Yeah. Okay? So now that is enough to actually read music.